last time. Either you're of a divine bloodline, or something else. That little bitch knows exactly why we come after her. Guards still think you killed one of their own. We had witnessed someone fleeing the scene that night. I will get to the bottom of this. Alamun took a step back, as Andalmar began pissing himself. That all sounds good, but why did they kill the guard? They were trying to frame me. Dark secrets? I'm looking in the giant camps. Damn, boy, he's sick! Well, you were right. Maybe this journal will help. Let's have a look. I'm unable to read this, but I know who can. The court wizard in Markarth. Welcome to Dirtyborn, Part 11. This or the last episode would be excellent breakpoints, since I finished Dawnguard the time before last. Keep in mind this is a shared world. In recent news, during Back in Time, 220 Destana and Fenrir made a cameo, and she sold the Bannered Mare to Isolde. Next season, nephew. Next season for sure. What is it you've found? This is interesting indeed. I'll need time to translate this. In the meantime, I could use some help with a large fest. One hand washes the other, does it not? You should try washing something on yourself. Gonna skip this because Destana already did it. In fact, it might be coming up in the Back in Time series. Uncle Calselmo. Hmm? Were you able to translate that book? I did, and it led me to a key that I had in my museum. I remember this key because the key itself was locked away when I found it. It says that the experiments got out of control. They needed to lock away what they had created. Under a giant's camp in Hjall March Hold, there is a barrow that this key will open. Maybe we should just leave it alone? I've considered this, but I think it would be best to unseal this place and kill whatever is inside. Whatever is locked away there cannot live. Its cage may not hold it forever. What? We couldn't stop them. Seal this place now. Well, that makes me uneasy. Think I'm gonna summon Serana. You know, we could have waited a bit longer. Oh? What is it? Hey, sorry I left you at the Bannered Mare. I'm not too sad about it. Took a break with your mom anyway. Should I be weirded out by that? Probably. Hey, I regularly bang both you and your mom. How can I help? What's weird about that? Not gonna respond to that. All right. You really seem to have an issue with you. Wanna tell me more about it? Oh, you really wanna talk about it? Is this really the time? I was never a big fan of One Helm. Watching all the elves get verbally abused really pisses me off. The bard at the inn is a dunmer, and one night she had one of the guards trying to shame her at the same time as he groped her. He was drunk. So I told the Dunmer bar to convince him she would meet him out back of the inn, when her shift was done. He was so fucked up that he didn't realize, it wasn't the bard he was eating out, it was the beggar's dirty ass, that he had dragging across his face. No comment. Gross. Talos balls you guys are perfect for each other. <laughs> I got blood on my fucking arm. That's it. Let's go. Wow, that face is ominous. Deals a lot of damage. Man, this thing is a fucking tank. You better get in Immediately gets knocked down.
I think magic is the only thing that's damaging us. Serana, your fire is working. Keep it up. Talos Bones. I haven't fought anything that tough since the giant Aether Robo in the Ethereum Mine, or the Dwemer Colossus in Somerset. What exactly is the point of having 125 lockpicking? Giant Falmer. That is not good. I knew there was something. What did you find? It's easy to get excited when you didn't have to fight that fucking thing. Why are you always overreacting, Gillis? <sighs> oh. You believe this fucking guy? It was a werewolf the size of a fucking house. You prick. Everyone always seems calm about things when we return and all is fine. Like it's no big deal. But... If we had died in that fucking place, no one would be the wiser. So you better have something good to give to my friend here. Well, I'm glad you're both okay. I was able to creed this spell out of the sample. I'm not sure what it does yet, but it should be powerful. Thank you for your help. I'll continue my research on the other camps. As for you, well, never mind. Thought as much. Mid is morning. It's a downhill ride to the weekend from here. I hate Midas. Worst day of the week by far. People think I go out of my way to piss them off. Trust me, it's not out of my way at all. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. Looking for a guard that had dealings with the Thalmor. You want me to rat out a brother? I know you're trying to help that little cunt, and I will have no part of it. Whoever it is should probably be worried. Dealing with the Thalmor would be considered treason these days. Good for them it was before the invasion, but I'd watch your back if you know who it is. The Thalmor are the scum of Nern. When we take an oath to be a guard, we swear to watch out for one another. I usually would not answer questions regarding my brothers, but this is different. When a fellow guard whispers in dark corners to conspire with the Thalmor, I feel that my oath no longer matters. I'm glad you can see reason. I may not have all the answers, but I feel I can help point you in the right direction. Of all the families in Whiterun, there is only one family that would drop to their knees to help the Thalmor. Greymane's loyal to the crown, so I'd say Battleborn. So you have been paying attention. They are a weak family that will take the side with the biggest purse of gold. I don't believe they would leave a trail within the city walls. By the look in Galas' eyes, I think she has already figured it out. If that scumbag family were to hide someone away, it would be in their farmhouse. I don't believe Gwendolyn would be too happy about this, though. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let me know if there's anything else They say that time is the best teacher. Actually, time see kills its students. Good to see you. Hey, Uthgird. Rooting out a Thalmor plot want to come with. I am your sword Who do you think and your shield. you the best blacksmith to get my armor tempered? One of these nights, I will catch the blacksmith out for her walk and strap one on to make her scream my fucking name. Have you ever heard the saying, keep it to yourself? Huh? By order of fucking me, we need to search the place. Are you allowed to do that? Of course I am. I'm a Jarl. Of course, this is kinda out of my jurisdiction. What is this about? You can't just demand to go into my home. I don't have so time for this it. fucking game. Got to go. Give us the key, or I'll cut your fucking head clean off. Just take the fucking keys. Please don't hurt me. What are you doing here? This room will become your fucking grave. What was that? Watch your back. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of weapon shields. Yeah. 
the model thing made them way too strong. Like, why would anybody use a weapon if you can instantly kill somebody with a shield in your right hand? In any form, we'll always get a boost, one way or another. Someone named Rulandil is deploying agents to investigate Gilles' past. And there was a system message about the floorboards creaking above. Well, ladies, sounds like we got a fight above on our hands. Why the fuck did they get down there? Careful. Found the Thalmor orders, Balgruff. This is what we've been waiting for. It seems that this is the final proof that is needed, my yard. You have your orders now, Irith, of who needs to be approached and removed from their duty. And on behalf of White Rangelis. Please accept my apologies for the trouble this has caused you. That's all you have to say to me? Have you lost your mind? This woman doesn't know when to keep her fucking mouth shut. Deal with her ear left before I lose my patience. Of course, my Jarl. Although I despise the Thalmor, what do you they mean? are unmatched in how they gather information and the records they keep. As we looked into your innocence in mm -hmm. this matter, we found well kept records of your activities here in Skyrim that the Dalmor kept on you. As we were able to see, you had nothing to do with the guard murdered here in Whiterun. It did open up leads to over ten other unsolved murders, or shall we say, executions. Oh, yes? Seems we have finally found something that gets Galus to keep her fucking mouth shut here, Aleph. These records have been destroyed as part of the apology for the confusion here in Whiterun. You're welcome, by the way. With that being said, it does not mean all the guards will believe in your innocence. However, it seems I may be owed a favor from you in the future that may call upon your skills, Galus. Do we have an understanding? Yes, fine. Maybe changing your ways will help keep you out of these messes, Gallus. Don't expect people to change, unless they shit their pants. Let's get out of here. At least this is off your plate now. It is off my plate, but the damage is already done. But I can't be mad about all this. Sometimes we have to go through bad things, for better things to happen. What do you mean? For a few guards to think I murdered one of their own is better than those Thalmor records to fall into the wrong hands. So you don't regret owing Balgruff a favor? As I have said before, society is situational. We like to think we'll always do the right thing, when actually the right thing is a selfish act. What might not be right for you, will be right for others, depending on the situation. True. In case I don't express it enough, I do appreciate you. Unexpected, you all right? Yes. It's just... One of the last things that NG had said to me. Oh yeah, you never finished your story. You're right. Well, after all had settled down and the Thalmor left, I rushed to NG, thinking she was already dead. I tried to dump healing potions into her mouth to keep her alive. I could feel a faint heartbeat, but didn't think it would last long. As she lay there, slipping away, I broke down, started crying and telling her how much she meant to me. I... Take your time. Thanks. I realized I had just lost the one person who had my back from day one. Never judged me on my looks. Never asked for anything in return either. She just supported me when no one else would give me the time of day. No matter what I did, she had my back. Did she pass peacefully? Um. Uh... As I sat there, weeping on her chest, letting out everything I always wanted to say, a hand touched the back of my head. She was looking right up at me with a smile. Once I realized what was happening, I needed to get her help. A couple Stormcloaks had come by, and I asked them to help me get her to fall grief to save her. Those motherfuckers flat out refused because I'm an elf. But a carriage with Imperial troops helped load her up, and we got her to fall grief. I stayed with her until she was fully recovered. We opened up to one another, and relived stories of our younger days. 
She's still in Skyrim? No. She returned home, but not before she explained why she had to let me go from her life. She cared for me because she saw glimpses of the good in me, but also knew I was self-destructive. Hearing the words from me when I thought she was passing, gave her peace, knowing that I saw her value. But... She also explained that the people who stay close to me are always walking the edge of the void. I never think about what I'm bringing others into. Is this something you'd change about yourself? As great as it sounds that someone will change, it doesn't happen. People just hide the parts of them that they don't want others to see. All we can do is be self-aware of how we are as a person. So you're more aware of yourself? Am I aware that I can be a fucking asshole? <laughs> yes. As long as I keep aware, I will try to control it, but no promises. That's all I could ask for. Maybe, but if it wasn't for you... I got it. You don't need to say anything. That's... kind. Thank you. Nice to hear a few kind words, but let's get out of here. Good we luck all out die. There. The goal isn't to live forever, it's to create something that will. Profound words. Now let's get drunk. Hey, Yis. How's the inn business? Could we get some drinks? Then hi. Fine line, she can help you. I have to admit I'm in over my head here. Oh my god, this fucking guy, Dad! It's been forever! If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. Oh, hey, Fen. Long time no see. You're looking strong. What are you doing here? Trolling for impressionable women? Like you did with Mom? Hey, hey. Men's gotta eat. You know what they say. Don't hate the player, hate yourself. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, but actually, since you're here, your mom's sanguine Rose Wilton. I figured I'd give the next one to you. Well, thanks. I feel like Damien might need it more. Nah, kid, you're spreading debauchery with the best of them. Besides, I don't know where Damien is. Yeah, well, none of us do. Might want to visit Mom while you're in town. I don't think so. She's doing fine for herself. I don't need to wreck that up. I thought your dad was Ulfric. How many parents do you have anyway? Ulfric's my biological dad. Sanguine raised me until I was seven. Then I spent some time in oblivion fighting a war. Bet you had an interesting childhood. Yeah, you could say that. Hey, let's find a nice quiet spot. Have a few more, and relax for a while. Then, I think I want to go see what Serana's up to. You're such a mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey Valerica, what are your plans now that you're free from the Soul Cairn? I never thought about being free. It seems that my life can... Wait. That staff, what is that? Sanguine Rose, it's from my other dad. Yes, the name translates into Blood Rose. The more of its power that is used, the more wilted it becomes. Eventually all its petals fall off, and it loses its powers. Somewhere in Oblivion, a new rose blooms and is plucked by Sanguine himself, to be given to a new champion. Hmm. Didn't know it wasn't the same staff. You know your stuff. I've lived hundreds of lifetimes compared to mortals. I've forgotten more things than most mortals have learned. What else you got? This staff was once held by Martin Septim. During the Oblivion Crisis, souls poured into the Soul Cairn, all of them with their own story. Much of my knowledge of history comes from the souls wandering the Soul Cairn for eternity. There is also a ring, called the Ring of Yearning, that has a unique power when near the staff. Ring of Yearning, huh? Never heard of it. Not surprising, most scholars believe it was lost with time. Do you remember how you got possession of the staff? I'm the third member of my family to hold it. After Damien and my mom, she got it in a drinking contest about 15 years ago. Lord Sanguine. He has domain over the darker natures of man. Sanguine enjoys playing pranks on others. We need to find this, Sam. I'm sure he's back in oblivion by now. He never stays long anymore. No, he's here. He's always here, waiting for his next champion. So, what are you suggesting we do if we find him? I'm not excited. Kill him, of course. I bet he has the ring on him. We can't truly kill him, but from his body we should be able to retrieve the ring. Seems excessive. I'm sure he'd find it hilarious, though. When the ring is worn by the one who possesses the rose, all secrets are revealed. Truth be told, I need to find out Serona's true feelings about me. I need to know if she can ever forgive me.
Will you at least try and find the ring? Maybe bring some peace to an old vampire. Sure. Excuse to play a prank on old dad again. But you're coming with... It's a deal. We should get going right away. We should start by asking innkeepers if they've seen him. Hang on. What the heck, Mom? Were you eavesdropping? I wasn't dropping any eaves. But hey, if you're gonna go find Sanguine, I'm coming with. Been too long. Even if I do have to travel with Gilles. Not as if I have a choice. Fine. Hey, when are you gonna tell me what's up between you two? Maybe soon. I don't know. It's been so long you were a baby. Or maybe it was before that. 